the fly on the wall videos have been a big hit at Totally Guitar, so I want to make sure that we have uh, excerpts and previews from most of them up here in our uh, at this channel for YouTube. And some of these lessons are very long and detailed. This is an excerpt coming up of one that I split into two parts because we put in Sandy's entire lesson working on the slack key version of Here Comes the Sun. And we spent a lot of time going over really minute parts that are just absolutely crucial to improving guitar playing. Basically transitions from measure to measure. So that's what we looked at in this lesson on my slack key arrangement of, of Here Comes the Sun that is split into a couple of parts because again it's a little bit lengthy. It's really her whole lesson that lasted about 45 minutes or so. So anyway, there's a little bit of it here and the rest of it is available as part of the Target program at Totally Guitars. Okay. Okay, Let's so out. so I'll play what I can. Okay. Uh-uh. Too far. And that's where you have to land on that chord, right? Good. Okay, try all that without looking at it now. <laughs> Try that without looking at it. Yeah. So see, I, I have little bits of that was ability, good though. But yeah. Then, yeah. Um, one I'm thing, I'm not sure you're hearing this quite clear enough. Um, okay. Do that much and stop right there. Wait. Not, not that melody. That happens later. Good. Keep going. Stop there for a second. Now, yeah, so that next note you're about to play is is part of the C chord, is right? It? But it's still right. in the la it's in the measure of G. It's in the measure of G. Right? G. So the measure, so the note is an anticipation, meaning it's it's a note from the next chord played before we're actually in the measure of that chord. Got it. Right? Um, so if you ever stop and start again in that measure, don't yeah. start here. Don't start with the bass note, because you're starting without hearing the note that is actually ringing when you get there. Right. Right. Exactly. So if you if you ever restart right there, you have to start here. You need to play that note on the second string. Okay. Yes. Okay. So because there's a natural, especially when you're playing it from memory, there's a natural stopping point. So a lot of times you're getting there and right. then freezing for a second. Right. And then picking it up. And now you didn't hear that note connect to that. Well, you might have heard that. You probably did hear that that note connect. Right. But um, what you have to do is bridge that gap by right. not letting yourself stop there. You either have to stop before you hit that note, and when you're ready to hit that note, don't hit that note until you're ready to play the bass note behind it. See what I did right there? Right. Or you have to at least hit this and get the next bass note. Even if you have, so if you have to stop and regroup right there, then let then it will work like this. Make okay. sure you connect that and to that bass note. Got it. One way or another, don't ever let yourself start in between those two places. Okay. So let me see. What was I doing? Let me get back to it. It's. Uh...